I just want to let you know, real quick, it's a brief message, basically. If you want to get out of sin, if you really desire to get close to the Lord, ask the Lord to reveal to you to what's in your heart that is evil, wicked, anything that is not of God. Ask Him to reveal it to you. And He will, if you listen. He will tell you what he, it's, what's there. If you... And if you... um. I, you know, like I said in my earlier video, I said I went to go on uh, in my uh, on, online look for prayers about a uh, certain evil, wicked thing that I had in my heart, and of course I, I recited that prayer and I told you what happened afterwards. But anyways, ask the Lord to reveal to you the wickedness and the evil, darkness things that are in your heart, and He will tell you in immediate, immediately. But you have to be willing to confess those and to um, be willing to give it up. And then after you do that, go ahead and, and um, if, you, if you feel, you know, you cannot think of a, of a prayer, then go ahead and think of a prayer. Uh, you know, ask him to remove it from you. And he will. I tell you the exact truth. That's all you have to do is believe that he is the Son of God, and that he is the Lord of all lords, and that he is the King of all kings. And remember, my people, my fellow brothers and sisters, even though that we, we are made of sin because of what Adam did, Adam and Eve did, we can't get out of sin. We don't have to live in sin no longer. It is up to you. It is up to me. It is up to anybody who wants to get out of sin. It's, like I said earlier, it doesn't take a day. You, you, you really have to really let the Holy Spirit guide you. And he will if you just let him. And all you have to do is just live for the Lord. And you will become holy and acceptable unto the Lord. You will be forgiven of all of your sins. Everything you have done. Everything you will do. As long as you seek with everything you got. With blood, sweat, and tears to go against the devil. And, the, and all his schemes and all his arrows. And put your shield of faith up. Put your shield of faith up. Fight the good fight of faith. With the only weapon that kills all demonic entities that destroys every evil thing of this world. And that is the good book itself. The Word of God. And if you study it, and if you and you partake of what it tells you to do, you will defeat those things. I'm defeating a lot of my, you know, my evil entities that may come against me. I've defeated a lot of them already. Because of the grace that was given to me at the cross. You don't have to live in sin no more. You can just be holy and separate from the world. It's up to you, my people. I urge you to give it up. Give up that darkness. Give up that secret sin that you don't want everybody to know. Just let, it, let the Lord take it. Don't keep it any longer. It's not worth it. It's not worth dying over a stupid little evil sin. I tell you, please, out of love, and want you to be with me in heaven. Just that Jesus wants you to be with him in heaven, most importantly. He does not want you to go to hell. You must repent. You must live holy. The best that you can. It's a walk each day. You will not get it right in the first day. It's impossible. I didn't get it right. I struggled with a lot of sin. But once I got the hang of it, I started to really get it, you know, going. I started just, you know, every single time I figured it out, it would be gone. It's going to take a lot of time and, you know, effort blood, sweat, and tears, like I said earlier. You will, you will be probably crying. You will be probably um, 
hurting up through a lot of this, but it's going to be worth it in the end because you will receive the eternal glory that is promised to you through the Christ because God made it possible for you to have the glory and be a glorious body, have a glorious body. I tell you the truth, living for Jesus, living for the Most High, is more greater than anything in this world. Not just because you're going to have eternal life, but the, throughout the life, God does a lot of things in your life that you would never expect Him to do. I am still baffled about everything He has done for me. And oh, I thank Him to, on to this day that He's done mighty things in my life. Oh God, I thank you. Mm. Whew, I still got a lot to learn. It's just, it's like I said, you would never, you would never be finished until he gets back or until he takes you home. You will still be, it's a learning process each day. But thank be to God through the grace and mercy he provides each and every day that you have. You should be even thanking him for that, that, you, that he lets you live another day to see his wonderful creation. Everything that he, oh man, it's a gift from God to live like for him. And the, oh, mm, 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 mm. all the victory he lets you have. You can just say, I carry the blame of victory. I should just make it look a little, uh, a little uh, necklace or something that says, I carry the bl No, a t-shirt. I carry the bling of vi victory. <laughs> and, sorry, I'm just getting my... The Holy Spirit is really getting me excited. It's... it's Really, it's, if you truly let your life go and just really start to focus on Jesus, He will make you like me. Trust me. I'm not... And trust me, I am a very... Um... I am not crazy. I am not crazy whatsoever for all the who thinks I'm crazy, who thinks I'm, I smoke weed. No, I don't. It's the Holy Spirit who makes me like this. It's the gift of God through Jesus Christ. I lift up your name, O oh God. I thank you, Lord. And I, I want to close by sharing, sharing a uh, prayer with you. I pray for you to, okay, if you, just listen, I pray for you now. If you want to, put your hand towards the um, t uh, computer, and I will pray with you. And we shall come together, just like the good book said, for if two or more come into, by my name, I too will be in their midst, which is referring to Jesus being in their midst. Father God, I come before you out of, with mercy and grace. I ask you to please um, reveal to my brothers and sisters what is evil, what is ungodly. I ask you to please set them straight on a godly path. Do not let them, do not let their mind be conformed to this world, but transform them by the renewing of the mind through the word of God. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to have mercy and grace upon my brothers and sisters who are still struggling with sin. And help them. Don't, don't let them die and go to hell. But embrace them with love and compassion and everything that, would, that you would want them to have. I ask you to, to, to nudge them to go into to uh, do the right thing. Do whatever you have to do, oh God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you do for us. Even I pray for these sinners that don't even know you, God. I pray that they will get to know you out of your love and, and your mercy. That they will not be condemned. Only reason they will be condemned is because they did not believe in the one only God, which would lead them to death. But I thank you, Lord Jesus for those who do believe in you and who are realizing that we are living in the end of days and waiting for your imminent return to this earth. And bless my brothers and sisters, even the ungodly, bless them so they may know that you are the Lord. In the name of the Most High God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen, a.k.a. Amen in Hebrew.
I want to thank you for letting me share this time with you. I love you very much, all of you, even you ungodly sinners. I just want you to be with me in heaven. I don't want to see you go to hell. I pray for you all, every single night, as much as I can. Okay, I'm lying there. I'm sorry. But I try, once I do pray, and I do try to remember you guys, um, I'm only human, okay? I'm not, I'm not ever going to be, um, you know, straight on perfect, just like that. I'm learning, okay? Even though it's been four years since I've um, been a Christian, a true living Christian, I'm still learning. It's always going to be a learning process for anybody who believes in Jesus Christ. You and I thank you, my Father, for hearing my prayer. I love you, my people. Have a good evening. It is officially 12.53. Um, I thank you for giving me your time, giving me, um, this moment to be with you in this, um, in your house or wherever you may be watching this. I thank you. I love you all. Have a good evening. And always remember, Jesus loves you. Even you ungodly sinners, you are still loved. All Jesus wants you to do is to come home with us. Just to, you don't have, we're not, it's not like we're brainwashed. We choose. We lay down our life, a free will at a free will. We lay down and we give it up because we know that we will live forever. All of us. But for those who live on God that claim the Christian, how dare you? How dare you? I tell you the truth. Unless you repent, Jesus will not let you go to heaven. You must repent and start living for Jesus. You cannot be living like a worldly person. You are supposed to be separated. I'm not saying you have to get it all right in one day, but you need to start, you know, you need to go to God seeking with a with a sorrowful heart and those, if you really want to go to heaven, which I, most of you don't even want to do by the way you act, you need to get right with God. You, if you, you're mostly going to, if you get condemned, I don't think Jesus will even let you have any moment of rest. It would probably be more intense for those who do believe and blaspheme the name of Jesus Christ and being a Christian than it is for those who did not believe and did not know Jesus Christ. Because Jesus told you, told me and you, if you do not do what I say, basically, it says in the good book, it, it, well, it doesn't really say it scripturally, but you, you get the, you, it's reference to the good book. You must carry your cross. You must deny yourself and carry your cross or you're not worthy of him. That means you have to do whatever it takes to live holy. I thank you, my brothers and sisters. I love you. Good night.